Let me introduce myself. I'm Vince Cerf. I'm chairman of the board of ICANN and uh, one of the uh, inventors of the internet uh, among many. Uh, and I've been in this game since 1969, if you want to be precise about it, 73 since the basic design of the network. But I've also served on the board of ICANN uh, since 1999. ICANN was founded in 1998. Uh, I, I witnessed the creation of the first board um, and then became a member uh, in late 1999 and became chairman of the board in uh, the year 2000. Uh, the importance of ICANN, uh, it would be very hard to underestimate. Uh, the organization has responsibility for policy with regard to certain technical aspects of the Internet. Uh, the assignment and allocation of IP address space and the decision about how domain names, which top-level domains should be introduced into the root uh, and who should operate the registries associated with them. Uh, in addition to that, the uh, IANA function, which has those two responsibilities, also uh, accepts information from the Internet Engineering Task Force and maintains tables of parameters that are needed to make the protocols of the Internet work correctly. So the implementers, if they can follow all of the specifications and the tables, will in fact be able to write software which interoperates through the Internet. In the absence of interoperability, we don't have an Internet. Before there was an ICANN, there was a man named John Postel, who uh, we called the Internet Assigned Numbers Authority. And to be honest with you, before that, we called him the Numbers Czar. His responsibility was essentially the same as uh, ICANN's responsibility, figuring out who should uh, operate the top-level domains, uh, whether there should be any additional top-level domains, and uh, how and to whom IP address space should be assigned. John passed away in 1998, just as ICANN was being formed. And his responsibility, uh, if he were to look at it today, is vastly more complex. It would have been more complex, partly because during this period of time, since 1998, the Internet has exploded in scale. Uh, its uh, participants have increased to over a billion worldwide. Uh, and it has become a very, very big economic engine for many, many parts of the world, many different parts of industry. What that means is that a responsibility for policymaking uh, is now increasingly important because of its economic impact and, quite frankly, because of its, uh, its political implications. It's a volunteer organization. Policymaking is a voluntary, multi-stakeholder uh, activity. We have a, m a number of different organizations that are part of ICANN, and I won't go through all of them now, but they need to be populated by volunteers. Uh, this is an uncompensated effort. You have to have a passion for Internet. You have to want the Internet to continue to operate. You want to have to see uh, the decision-making process contributing to Internet's continued evolution, stability, and security. Uh, some people have asked me, why on earth would you continue to serve on this uh, uh, fairly difficult assignment? One answer is that I'm not going to continue after October because my term limits are up. On the other hand, I've uh, been lucky that my employers have permitted me to serve on the board uh, for uh, quite a long time. If I were looking forward now, uh, after I depart from the board, wondering what kind of people I would want to see serving on the board or serving in other policy-making roles. I would look for people who are sincere in their ability to participate, who really are prepared to spend the time that's needed. Second, uh, who have a clear understanding of the functions of ICANN and understand what the limitations are. This is a multi-stakeholder organization which is unique ICANN is a creation, it's an invention that uh, I don't believe is uh, mirrored by many other structures in the world. So we're inventing new kinds of, uh, of practices for the establishment of policy. It's not just the question of government public policy, it's a question of the stakeholders, the registrars, the registries, the users the technical community, the uh, address uh, assignment community, all of them have to contribute to policy making. I think I would look for people who are capable of seeking consensus, 
who want consensus, who are constructive in their, uh, in their efforts. I would like people who have served on boards before and understand what nonprofits are all about. I'm looking for people who have specific expertise. We need people who understand what accounting is all about. We need people who understand what it means to operate a business without loss of revenue, who understand the need to build up reserves in order to overcome uh, potential periods of uh, revenue variation. Uh, I would be looking for people with a technical understanding of how the network works so that they can balance what is asked for from the uh, the general community in terms of uh, uh, ICANN operation and what is technically feasible. Can we find people with this range of skill sets? Uh, can we find people who are willing to commit themselves to the work that's required? Can we find people who are creative in their ability to think about alternative structures and ways of doing business? Well, I hope the answer is yes. So far, for the last eight years, we have populated the board with some very capable people. We're finding that it's harder and harder to do that, partly because the complexity of the decisions is, has increased and their importance has increased. All I can say is that uh, service to ICANN and its community is service to the more general internet. And unless there is someday a replacement for ICANN, we have to make it work. And we seriously need people who want to make it work. Those are the people I'm looking for. Well, the old VidServe did apply to the nominating committee to join ICANN. I submitted uh, an application to the NOMCOM. And I was appointed twice now by the NOMCOM. Uh, my second term is ending in October of this year. Uh, but yes, I did, I did apply uh, and was accepted by the NOMCOM. But I went through the process that everyone else uh, who goes through that route will have to go through. Well, I think that it is a grand experiment in some respects. We've probably gone farther than most other organizations that, that see a need to have multiple stakeholders participate in policy making and decision making. We're especially unique because we have a governmental element uh, within the multi-stakeholder structure. So now we see this uh, dialogue that's occurring among the various interested parties. Uh, that's unusual and new, uh, and we're still experimenting. We're still exploring structures for that space. I don't think the evolution is over yet. I think ICANN will continue to adapt, uh, partly as uh, its role in the Internet uh, continues to evolve, but particularly, I think, uh, as we begin to understand how best uh, to make this multi-stakeholder structure work. Well, if you really care about how the Internet evolves and how ICANN's policy decisions affect the way the domain name system and the Internet address space allocation is done, if you really care about that, then you want to be a part of this apparatus, whether it's at the board level or the supporting organization level, or even simply to participate as a member of one of the various communities your views and, and perspectives won't be heard unless you participate. Not everyone in the world feels the need to be a participant in policy making, but some people can make a difference. An individual can make a difference. So if you really want to participate in this, I would encourage you to do so.